everybody, welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make a Mexican cowboy casserole. So, in a bowl, we have got some ground hamburger that we have fried up in a skillet to get them done. They're no longer pink. Drained it if it puts out a lot of grease. And so, this is what we got in the bowl right now. Now, Betty's still my helper in the kitchen because... I still can't do anything with that hand. It's getting better. But it's hard to hold on to a bowl with the injured hand and try to mix at the same time. So, let's get to making our casserole. Now, you could do ground turkey, fried up ground chicken. Um, I just did hamburger. Two eggs. Um, some chorizo, uh, brown you up some chorizo, that would be good. Okay, this is our diced tomatoes with some chilies. With the juices all goes in. Now, the recipe called for ranch style beans. I can't find ranch style beans. I went to different stores. So, what I'm using is chili beans with their sauce. Um, or you could do the other bean I looked at was jalapeno with their sauce. I mean, Pintos with their sauce with jalapenos. That's another alternative you could do. But it said it had to be something with a sauce on them. So I guess if you use black beans, you would not drain them either. So a can of drained corn. A package of taco seasoning. You can put you some chopped onion up in here if you want to. I am going to put a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder in. Even though the taco season has that, I want a little bit more of that. Season. I'm going to put a little bit of pepper too. Now, the taco season is salty. To me, it is. So, it's whether you want to put salt in it or not. Cheddar cheese goes in. And then two boxes of cornbread mix. There's different brands out there, but you know what we're talking about. Jiffy mix. Well, there's other brands too. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna mix it together. The recipe said you might need a splash of milk or two. So we're gonna mix that in and then I'm gonna get some milk. Yeah, that's a lot of dry. Yeah. Give me that measuring cup, Betty. We're gonna start with a half a cup. See what does. Well, I think I think we're gonna need a whole cup though. Or yeah. Bring me that measuring cup. I'm getting stirred. I don't know if you're gonna need another. Can I hear now? So it's the half, yeah. So dry. We'll just say it's half a cup. Whoop. <laughs> okay. So a cup all together. 
you just want to get them loose, okay? Now what we're going to do is put this in a spray casserole. We're going to put this in a spray casserole dish so it won't stick. And then put it in the mi uh, I almost said microwave. Lord help me. The oven to back whatever your instructions say on your cornbread mix, okay? Mine says, let me read it, hold on. 425. 425. No, 400. 400. 400. Okay. And then we're going to bake it from about 20 to 30 minutes. We'll come back when all that's done. And I'm going to let it cool for about at least about almost 10 minutes before we start cutting it. And I'll show you the, the garnishes that you serve it with. You can put your can of chilies in there, that little little can of chilies if you want to. Put you some hot sauce up in here, whatever you want. So we're just gonna spread it out. And that's what it looks like. And now it's gonna go in the oven. See you back with video two.